JL Audio's 10TW3 has been the leader, hands down, for shallow subwoofers in the car audio world. A sub that only needs half a cubic foot of airspace and can produce deep bass. Not typical for a shallow sub. This has been the go-to for car audio shops and end users where space is limited, especially in pickup trucks. And many manufacturers have tried to make a thin line woofer equivalent or better than the TW3, but with little success. Then we get a call from a little known company called Audio Mobile, claiming they have a low profile sub that's better than the JLTW3. And they have charts from an independent lab to prove it. Okay, show us what you got. Hey, what's up fam? It's Josh here from Breakers Stereo and Performance. And in this episode of Versus, we take the king of thin line woofers, the JL TW3, against Audio Mobile's Evo 10. Can this small boutique brand take on one of the largest car audio companies in the world when it comes to one of their most popular categories, low profile woofers, AKA shallow mount subs. Now there are lots of vehicles out there that don't have lots of space to install a subwoofer mainly under or behind the seat in pickup trucks. But if you have a car with a trunk and don't want to take up as much space as a traditional subwoofer, then you'll want to consider shallow mount subs. Now, technically Audio Mobile doesn't list this as a shallow subwoofer. They list it as a low profile, but it has a mounting depth of only 3.9 inches. And the JL Audio is three and a quarter. But if you factor in that JL Surround sits up much higher than Audio Mobile's. And when the woofer is moving, if you set something too close to it, then it will rub against it, potentially causing damage. So you'll want to add the JL Audio specific grill, which sticks out just enough to clear the maximum excursion on this woofer. So if you take the JL Audio with that grill and the Audio Mobile with its grill, then there's only about a quarter inch difference between the two. With the JL Audio needing the least amount of space measuring from the back of the box to the front of the grill. That covers that. Now in this video, we'll be going over all the specs for both of the subwoofers along with their design features. And then we'll head out to the bay and take a listen to a pair of each of these subs in a 2017 Silverado in an under the seat box as they go head to head against each other. Now we'll measure SPL and take a listen to the listening experience. Also, we have some test charts from Cogent Audio Labs, which is ran by a former Rockford Fosgate engineer. Now the test was initiated by Performance and Sound Magazine for their review section. Check them out at pasmag.com. Okay, so let's check out the specs, starting with the JL Audio 10TW3. Now the power handling is 400 watts RMS and the peak is 800 watts. The frequency response is 24 up to 200 Hertz and the resident frequency is 32.3. The Xmax is 15.2 and the Xmax is the measurement of the comb's maximum excursion in one direction. And then your top mount depth again is three and a quarter or 82.55 millimeters. And the seal box requirement is 0.519 and the current retail price is $429. Okay, and now the audio mobile Evo 2410. Now the RMS rating is 500 watts and the peak is 1000 watts and they list that as music power. The frequency response is pretty wide and low at 10 hertz all the way up to 800 hertz and the resident frequency for the dual 4 ohm is 28.7. The X max is 15.8 millimeters and the mounting depth is 3.9 inches or 99 millimeters and the recommended airspace is 0.5 cubic feet sealed. Current retail price, $399. So if we compare specs, Audio Mobile does better in four of five categories, if we leave out the required airspace category. Now, JL Audio has some very innovative design features in this woofer. Pretty much these guys reinvented the wheel when it comes to shallow mount subs, starting with their concentric tube suspension. Now that suspension technology delivers long excursion and a low profile subwoofer. JL uses a molded construction that extends over the motor system's edge, supporting the spider on the outside. 
and the Boyce coil on the inside of the motor. Instead of enclosing the coil as customary in most subwoofers, this Boyce coil allows the magnet to rest inside of it. Then you have the ear tab frame design. Now this feature allows mounting the subwoofer in tight spaces because the outside dimensions are reduced. All in all, a really unique design. Some of the engineering aspects that this woofer has, other companies have copied, but again, with little success. Okay, now on to the Audio Mobile Evo 2410. Now the Evo is built using a low profile cast aluminum aloe basket that is powder coated carbon diamond. It has a carbon steel top plate and high energy ceramic magnet motor. Now this has a butyl rubber surround and a large eight inch diameter cotton composite leaner type spider with woven in tinsel leads. It has an exclusive integrated aluminum shortening ring and the copper coils are wound on a Kapton former. The cone is made of Kevlar reinforced composite, which was originally developed for professional subwoofer applications with very high stiffness to mass ratio. There are six radio cooling vents that are built in to the woofer's frame, which is also cross drilled under the spider to improve voice call cooling. As a result, this woofer handles 500 watts RMS. Okay, let's check out the Cogent Labs charts before we do our test. Now again, these tests were initiated by Performance and Sound Magazine for their test reports and review section. And we'll leave links in the description below if you wanna check out the full articles. Now the horizontal line is where we have the frequency and the vertical line is that SPL or dB level. Okay, we'll start with 35 Hertz. So here our line intersects at about 71 dB. So this means the woofer registered 79 decibels when playing 35 Hertz at one watt, one meter in the recommended sealed enclosure. Now let's take a look at 40 Hertz. We have 74 dB, 45 Hertz, it registered 77 dB, 50 Hertz registered 79 dB. At 60, we have 82, and from here we start to drop. 70 Hertz is 81 and a half dB, 80 is 81 dB, 90 is 80 dB, and 100 Hertz is 78.45 dB. Now let's look at the Audio Mobile Evo. Now this chart was taken from an article that included their MCAR, which is a passive radiator setup. And we'll be taking a look at that product here in the near future, so look out for that video. But in this article, they tested and reviewed the Evo on its own as well. So don't pay any attention to the black line. That's the chart with the addition of the passive radiator. We'll be looking at the gold line only. So let's start with the same 35 Hertz and that registered at 77.5 dB versus JL's 71 dB. 40 Hertz, the Audio Mobile registered 78 and JL only 74. At 45 Hertz, Audio Mobile's at 78 and JL's at 77. And at 50 Hertz, Audio Mobile is still at 78, but the JL climbs to 79. At 60, Audio Mobile is at 78.5, whereas JL is at 82. So that's the biggest jump in JL's favor. And at 70, the Evo is at 80 and the JL is at 81 and a half. At 80 Hertz, it goes up to 82 and then JL comes down a little to 81. And we have a bump up to 82 and a half versus JL, which dips again to 80. And finally, 100 Hertz is at 81 and a half and the JL does only 78 and a half. So out of the nine frequencies we looked at here, the Audio Mobile Evo outperforms the JL Audio 10TW3, six to three. Okay, let's head out to the bay and do our test. Again, we'll be using a 2017 Silverado with an under the seat box built to exactly one cubic foot total, inner volume. Perfect for a pair of both of these woofers. Now we'll be using a Memphis VIV 1100 and we'll use our meter and some math to get 800 watts for the JLs and 1000 watts for the audio mobiles. So we'll start with the audio mobiles and we'll test the frequencies we just talked about and then we'll listen to some music as well.
Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to some music and we'll bounce around and we'll try uh, different types of music here, all right? Fans on your head, now they jumping up and down, playing monkey in the middle. She swallow all my kids, she a bad babysitter. Kim Jong on in my pants is a missile. All right, so we have some really good bass at the lower levels, around 40, 50, uh, 55 hertz. I was happy with the way that it sounded as far as accuracy is concerned. It's producing those low frequencies, which is pretty typical for most of your uh, rap music that has that deep bass. You know, for me, it's surprising that these are 10s because they can play as low as some 12s out there. So that's actually really impressive. Okay, so let's move on to the next song. Okay, so this song actually sounds really good. We have bass in that 50 hertz range or so, and that's where this woofer actually really accelerates. According to what we had measured, 50 on the test tone did 131. That's pretty good. All right, let's take a listen to the next song. Okay, so we chose this song because it has that nice snappy bass that's in that 50 to 60 hertz range, but it's nice and quick, and these woofers are actually able to keep up. If you have a woofer that's not designed quite as well, it can get sloppy. If it's a quick drum for metal music like we're listening to, we have two different ends of the spectrum. We have hip-hop, and then we also have metal, and these woofers do excellent for both types. Okay, so now let's pop in those JL audios. All right, so here are the results. So the Audio Mobile Evo wins seven out of nine of the test frequencies that we checked out versus JL's two out of the nine. If we're looking at our results versus the Cogent Lab results, they are the same except for one frequency, which is gonna be 50. Cogent had JL at 79 versus Audio Mobile's 78. And in our field test, we have the Audio Mobile doing 131 versus JL's 129.9. Cogent had him at six to three in favor of Audio Mobile Evo. We have him at seven to two in favor of Audio Mobile Evo. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a listen to some music. All right, JL really never disappoints. Uh, you have really good bass around that 50, 60 hertz range. When it came to some of the lower bass, it wasn't quite as loud as I would like it. It wasn't quite as loud as the Audio Mobiles. And that is pretty parallel with the Cogent Labs test, which was the Audio Mobiles actually did better in those the lower ranges versus the JL Audio. But altogether, still sounds really good, really clean. Nice roll off, JL is kind of known for that. So really nice roll off. So I'm definitely happy with the way that that sounds, except for maybe those lower frequencies. Okay, so this song has tons of bass in between that uh, 45 to 55 hertz range. So these woofers actually do pretty good in that range. If we take a look at kind of the SPL readings that we got from the test tones, uh, they're pretty equal at those ranges. So at 45 hertz, the, the, the audio mobile doing 129 and the JL wasn't too far behind with 128.1. And at 50, the audio mobile was at 131 and then the JL was at 129.9, almost 130 so only about a decibel uh, behind that okay so this song actually sounds really good with either of these speakers
All right, so our bass notes on this particular song is between uh, 50, it actually went up to 70, but we're kind of in that range there. And I couldn't really tell the difference. And to me, the woofer sound about the same on this particular song. They're both snappy, they're both accurate, both sound really good. Okay, here's the scorecard. Now, when we looked at the specs, Audio Mobile does better in four out of the five categories we looked at. Power handling, frequency response, resident frequency, and XMAX. Now, JL wins when it comes to depth, so it is shallower. One point, Audio Mobile. SPL measurements between 35 hertz and 100 hertz. Audio Mobile wins six test frequency versus JL in the lab test. And Audio Mobile wins seven to JL's two in our test. One more point, Audio Mobile. Now, listening experience. Now, this is a tough one to judge, but I did notice a difference in volume with the Audio Mobiles being a little bit louder. Now, this is consistent with both the lab test and all real world tests because the lower a woofer can play, the louder it will get. Both have accurate bass, great roll off at the low frequency range, but the Audio Mobile does reproduce lower frequencies between 35 and 45 hertz better, which is important for a lot of music genres. Final point goes to Audio Mobile. Okay, and the winner with the final score of three to zero is Audio Mobile. Okay, I'm a believer. Now, it's not to say that the JL10W3 isn't a great woofer, because it is. We've sold this woofer for years to our customers with a high satisfaction rate, and they continue to be a top selling woofer throughout the car audio industry. But based on everything we covered, the Audio Mobile Evo is the better woofer, better specs, better bass response to deeper bass, handles more power and sounds excellent. Okay, that's gonna do it. If you guys have any thoughts, leave them in the comment section below. Now, we're also gonna be doing a video entitled the top five shallow subwoofers. So if you have suggestions on what subwoofer to include, also drop it in the comment section below. All right, thanks for watching. Again, my name is Josh from Breaker Stereo and Performance, and we'll see you guys next time.